The Inter-University Students Federation, the largest university student body in Sri Lanka, organized several Satyagraha campaigns today in support of the protest taking place at golf fairs in Colombo. The university students engaged in a Satyagraha campaign opposite the Karapitya Teaching Hospital and had set up a New Year's table calling it the food table of the struggle. The Inter-University Students Federation had organized a similar New Year's table opposite the Candy Clock Tower. They had also organized a similar table in Alpitya and offered meals to those passing by. The student body of the Kalani University had also prepared a New Year's table in support of the people's protest. The Sri Lanka Pudujana Peramuna member of the Kalania Pradesh Sabha, who was arrested for causing damage to a temporary shelter prepared by university students and assaulting them yesterday, was remanded until the 22nd of April. The local government member, identified as Dominda Pereira, was remanded after being produced to the Mahara Magistrates Court. Several lawyers from the Bar Association of Sri Lanka were present in court to represent the university students. They were not engaged in a struggle demanding opportunities to send rockets or purchase mansions in Malwana or elsewhere. They were not asking for raising cars. They were not asking for billions from the government to have their names mentioned in the Pandora Papers. They were demanding the Mahapolis Scholarship. They were speaking out against the death in fuel queues and the power outages. Their cries are a right enshrined in the Constitution. As council, we cannot allow the situation of the country to fall into a level where a politician assaults university students who are protesting peacefully. The country is at the bottom of the barrel and during this time, we won't allow anyone to use political muscle. When the case was taken up today, university students protested in silence opposite the court premises.